Good morning, viewers. It's a new day. Welcome to today's devotion with the Daily Fountain, the devotional guide of the Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion. Invite your family and friends. Get your Bible and your Daily Fountain manual while our devotional leader takes us on today's devotion. You are welcome to today, Sunday, 25th June, 2023, Daily Fountain Devotional. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Our topic today is Stop Worrying, Worship Him. And our test is taken from Matthew chapter 6, beginning to read from verse 24 to 34. I read, No one can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will be loyal to one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and mammon. Therefore I say to you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat, or what you will drink, nor about your body, what you will put on. Is not life more than food and body, and the body more than clothing? Look at the birds of the earth, for they neither sow, nor reap, nor gather into bands, yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not of more value than they? Which of you by worrying can add one cubit to his stature? So why do you worry about clothing? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow, they neither toil nor spin. And yet I say to you that even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. Now, if God so clothes the grass of the field, which today is and tomorrow is thrown into the oven, will he not much more clothe you, O you of little faith? Therefore do not worry, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or what shall we wear? For after all these things the Gentiles seek. For your heavenly Father knows that you need all these things. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added to you. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow we worry about its own things. Sufficient for the day is its own trouble. The Word of God. The word worry is to be unhappy, concerned, and to be engrossed with earthly things. The word worship means adoration to God, appreciation to Almighty God, a feeling of profound love and admiration to God's love and goodness shown to us. First, his redemptive work on the cross. Then secondly, other blessings given to us such as life, good health, provisions of our needs, divine protection, and God's mercies shown upon us. Worry is a very destructive tool that the devil uses to cause us to lose hope in God. Worrying affects our total being and often leads us to the growth of other unpleasant and sinful habits like impatience, hatred, alcoholism. Sometimes I see people, they will tell you that they want to drink and forget their troubles. And I wonder how they intend to do that. Because alcoholic, as far as I'm concerned, and as far as the scripture is concerned, can never take away trouble. Alcoholic will rather add to your problems that is already existing in your life. It's never a solution to trouble. So I'm speaking to as many that are hearing me, listening to me. Have you gone into becoming a drunkard as a result of challenges you are faced with? Brother and sister, I want to let you know this morning that alcoholic is not a solution to your problem. 
I want to encourage you this morning to drop that bottle of alcoholic. It's never a solution. And it can never bring emancipation to that situation, that ugly situation you are going through. It has also led to things like occultism, stress, depression, and suicide, which we also see in social media happening around the world. In our test today, Matthew chapter 6 from verse 31 to 34, we hear the comforting word of our Lord Jesus Christ to his disciples. The same Jesus, the same word of the Lord is still encouraging and comforting us today. The Bible speaking in the book of Hebrew says, I am the same yesterday, today, and forever. Speaking about God. Our God in Hebrew 13, 8 is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He is immutable. He can never change. He is still delivering his people. So, we hear the comforting words of our Lord Jesus Christ to his disciples. He charged them not to worry about their daily and future sustenance. He told them not to worry about what to eat or what they will put on their body. Worry, someone says, does not empty tomorrow of its sorrow. It rather empties today of its strength. So I want to encourage us, by worrying, you cannot take away your troubles. And so I want to draw our attention to some ways or ways to cast away our worries. I want to draw our attention to some of these points. I believe it will help us to overcome our worries in life. The first point is in Christ alone. So one of the best things that can ever happen to you or weapon or solution, which is the first, is that you must come to Jesus in repentance. It's not negotiable. You can't negotiate it. It's something that you can't do away with. You must accept Jesus Christ into your life as your personal Lord and Savior. The Bible speaking in 1 John chapter 16, verse 13, says, Jesus speaking there, These things I have spoken to you, that in me you may have peace. In the world, hear this, child of God, you will have tribulations. But be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. Be of good cheer, for I have overcome the world. So there is no any place one can have tranquility, peace, or solution. Solution that is guaranteed apart from Christ. First John chapter 5 verse 4, the Bible says, Whatever that is born of God overcomes the world. And he says, this is the victory that has overcome the world. Our fate. This is the victory. Our fate. So if you are a born again child of God, I want to tell you that victory is on your side. No matter the challenge that you are going through, it does not mean that trouble will not come. Trouble will come. But because Jesus Christ is inside your life, you will have peace. Even though you are faced with challenges, but there is peace that God will release in your life that will strengthen you and will help you to endure and overcome your problems. Number two, studying the word to know the mind and purpose of God concerning the situation you are going through or that challenge you are passing through. We must understand that 
There are challenges that God will allow to come our ways just because God is working out his purpose in our lives. There are challenges God will permit to come to us in order to bring out the best out of us. But it takes a man who studies and knows the mind of God concerning that situation to follow what God is doing. Studying the word of God to know the mind and purpose of God concerning your situation. Just like the Bible tells us in our text today. If you read from verse 31. Therefore do not worry. Saying what shall we eat or what shall we drink or what shall we wear. For after all these things the Gentiles seek. For your heavenly father knows that you need all these things. The Bible is reminding us that whatever you are going through, God is aware of it. And so don't keep God as said. He's aware that you are going through that turbulent situation. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all things shall be added to you, the Bible says. So if you know what God is saying, just like the Israelite who went through slavery experience in Egypt, but I want to let you know that God was doing something, working out his purpose, even while they were still in Egypt. Even while they were enslaved in Egypt, God was working out his purpose. It wasn't that God is dead or silent. No. I want to tell you that after the years they spent in Egypt, a day came and the Bible says, God hath the cry and the weep, the cry and, 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 the, and, and of the, the Israelite in Egypt. He hath. And God sent a deliverer, Moses, to go and salvage his people from Egypt. The same God that did it for the Israelite in, in Egypt will do it for you in the name of Jesus. The next point is worship and praise God, not minding what you are going through. Acts chapter 16, verse 25 to 26, there you see Paul and Silas praising God in prison, and God intervened. The, the last point is prayer. Philippians chapter 4, from verse 6 to 7 says, Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplications, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known to God, and the peace of God, which passes up all understanding, will guard your heart. A mind through Christ Jesus. Another point and weapon we can use to overcome is the weapon of prayer. Elijah prayed in the book of James and the heaven was shut for three and a half years. And until Elijah prayed again, it was at the same prayer of the man of God that heaven was open. May the Lord bless us that even as we trust him, believe in him, he will come to our aid in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. May the Lord bless his word in our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you viewers that God in his infinite mercy, whatever challenge you are going through, I pray that God will step in and the peace of God shall rest upon our lives all in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We thank you for fellowshipping with us today. We invite you to join us tomorrow morning, same time, same station, for another special edition of the Daily Fountain. If you are led to sponsor or support this program, please contact the numbers and email all showing on your screen. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash ACNNTV. Visit our website www.acnntv.com.